Hi, I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here with author, entrepreneur, thought leader Seth Godin. Seth, welcome to the show. Thanks, Brian. I love the way you talk about trust and attention as currency. And that's part of the new connected economy. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Because there's a race to the bottom to make things cheaper. But if you look at the prices at Walmart, you know, they have to level off because soon they'll have to pay you to buy stuff otherwise. <laughs> so as that stuff levels off, I can't grab a huge amount of market share by being 10 cents cheaper. Yeah. It's just not worth it. So how am I going to grow? I'm going to grow by being 10 cents more trusted, not by being 10 cents less expensive. I think that's an amazing bit of advice for entrepreneurs, people who are starting their own company. And I think it's subtle, so I want to I wanna underscore it because... The mindset is, I need critical mass. You know, I need a gazillion whatever. Yeah. Right. And you're saying the connected economy? No. That's right. It, I mean, it depends, I guess. I mean, if you're Facebook, then you do need critical mass, but you don't need it for most of everything else. Well, please understand. Facebook ended up being worth a billion dollars when they only had two million members. Yeah. Right. That's what, one out of every 3,000 people on the planet. That's not critical mass. That's not how many people drink Coke. It's this tiny, tiny number. Yeah. Because what the investors saw is it led to trust. And, you know, in today's news, we see that that, that, that app Mailbox just got acquired by a company called Dropbox before they earned a dollar in revenue. Right. So what did they have? Anyone could have copied their design. What they had was the ability to bring something to the market that people would trust with their most precious digital information, their email, and wait in line for weeks to get a hand on, right? So they demonstrated that they could do it. For most people, for a chiropractor, it's 100 people, right? For somebody who's selling insurance, it's 1,000 people who truly yeah. trust you. So the question I would ask the entrepreneur, the freelancer, the consultant, the person who works at a big company is, do more people trust you and pay attention to you today than six months ago? Yeah. And what are you going to do between now and six months from now that's going to radically change the number of people and how deeply they pay attention and trust you? Yeah. Because if all they're doing is tolerating you, if the only level of attention you have is you own a piece of real estate and they have to walk past your office, it doesn't count. Right? That, you know, there, there's a, a financial broker I know in, in California, not far from here, and he makes a great living with clients all over the world not because they've met him, not because they've been into his building, but because he acts in a way that makes people say to other people, I trust this guy. Yeah. 